did you know you're a sex temple threat? I think I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's okay, so you are singer, songwriter, broadcaster, author, star of your own comedy show, and podcast contributor. I think what happens as you do get older, you kind of like either stand beside me or get out of my way because you you don't focus on failing anymore because failing is part of being successful. It's just part of the equation. One of the most exciting days of my life. We are going to go down a hallway and I'm gonna meet the cast of the Jan show for the very first time and do the very first read through. I'm freaking out, but I'm so excited to be on CTV and to be doing this show. Okay, come, come. Doors locked. A very exciting new chapter for you is is the comedy series Jan, mm -hmm. which we don't get to see for a while, March 2019. But you've already started production. Yes. How's it going? I think it's funny. It's very quirky, and it's it's just an absolute blessing and I'm so grateful to have this opportunity. My dear friend Jason yes. is an actor in Alberta yeah. and he's been cast ah. in your show and he has a little message for you. Okay. Hi Jan, I'm looking forward to acting toe to toe with the Canadian legend on September 25th. Um, peace. Also too, Kelsey's a really good actress so if there's a spot for her in the show somewhere, <laughs> plug her in. Later. <laughs> Calgary's been used for a lot of things, but Calgary has never been Calgary, the character. Mm -hmm. It's always been kind of filling in to pretend to be something else. Calgary's Calgary in this, and uh, that's really cool. And just like your friend Jason, we get to use Alberta Calgarian day players mm -hmm. and actors and singers and, and technical people. And that's important to me to keep, I, I grew up in Alberta, so I've lived there all my life. I live west of the city, and I'm so proud of the local crew that is running this show because they're amazing. One of the friends that you can link arms with, Arlene Dickinson. Very much you so. You two are launching into a new podcast. It's a weekly show. Yep. It's also on radio. By Heart Radio. Um, tell me about how this even kind of came about. Arlene and I have known each other for years, and she splits her time between here in Toronto and Calgary with her venture business. So. Two, three times a year we go for dinner. And I remember Arlene saying like five years ago, we should record these conversations. And I'm like, are you insane? No one should ever hear what we're talking about, right? <laughs> I've heard that you turn off the radio when you hear insensitive. I turn off the radio when I hear any of my songs. Any of them? Yeah, any. I don't listen to any of them. But but why? You know, I just was there when I recorded it, and I I always, and I like them all. I like my whole catalog. There's not one record that I go, oh, that's terrible, or I hate that. I just, I turn it to something else. I've heard them so many times. So will you watch Jan, do you think? Oh, I, absolutely. I'm not going to be one of those people that go, I don't watch myself. I'm going to be in there with a friggin' giant, some kind of food, ice cream, popcorn, <laughs> you know, I don't drink anymore, so I'm gonna probably have a massive soda of some kind, and I'm gonna watch it. Well, we are excited to watch it. Oh, thank you. And thank you for talking to me so candidly today. Oh my gosh, I'm happy to do it. Thanks for talking to me. Oh my God, it's always a pleasure. And like Jason said, I'm an excellent actor, okay, so feel let's free do to it. cast me. Well, now you've stepped into it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I got a part for you. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my phone call. I hate Jan's podcast, The Business of Life Streams, weekly on iHeartRadio Canada. And stay tuned for Jan, which premieres on CTV early next year.